Hi everybody, how are you doing? It's mid-March, it's a beautiful spring day and most of the newts are well into the breeding season now and uh, laying a lot of eggs. A lot of the other animals are starting to wake up from their winter brumation now. Uh, the other amphibians and some of the reptiles that we keep as well. Now those of you that follow the Facebook page, UK Crested Newts, you'll see on there that I asked people if they were interested in seeing some updates from some of the other animals. I want to thank you all for your uh, responses to that. And we had an overwhelming 97% of people that wanted to see some of the other animals. So I'm going to start including uh, some updates on some of the other animals that we've got here in, in the collection. Now I do want to keep the page mainly about the crested newts. Uh, those of you that particularly like seeing those animals, uh, don't worry, there's still going to be lots of that coming. I'm just going to drop you a quick little update here and there about some of the other animals that we're keeping here as well. So these are the tubs that I set up in one of the previous videos. In this one we've got lots of albino great crested newt eggs. If I pull up some of the plastic here you might be able to see them better. And some of these at the front are better developed, that were laid a bit earlier. So there's some there that are quite well developed. They're only developing quite slowly because they are outdoors and they're quite cool. Now one thing that I've been doing here fairly regularly is looking through this plastic and just picking out any eggs that are clearly infertile, that are going kind of cloudy they're not developing you can just easily pick those off the plastic you always lose 50 percent of crested new eggs due to something called the chromosome one disorder and that's always going to happen and then you can also lose them due to fertility uh, fungus and all sorts of other issues as well so we expect to lose a lot of these eggs and that's just perfectly normal there are melanoid italian crested newts in this one they're at a similar stage. Some of those are quite well developed now. And as I said, just to show you something a little bit different, in here we've got a melanistic rana temporaria eggs. So these are common frog or grass frog eggs from an amelanistic female and a normal wild type male. And in here we've also got eggs from an albino male and a normal female. So it's going to be really interesting watching them develop. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and until next time, thank you for watching.